This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the synthesis of codeine and diamorphine. The presence of the two hydroxyl groups in morphine make it a polar molecule. Polar molecules are more soluble in water, but less soluble in lipids, which limits their ability to cross the blood brain barrier. Next, we look at the synthesis of diamorphine. Diamorphine is produced from morphine in an esterification reaction in which both hydroxyl groups are converted into ester groups. So in this reaction, morphine is reacted with ethanoic acid to produce diamorphine and water. As you can see, the two hydroxyl groups in morphine are replaced by two ester groups. This has the effect of making diamorphine a less polar molecule and more lipid soluble. Because of its higher lipid solubility, diamorphine is able to cross the blood-brain barrier more rapidly and in higher concentrations than morphine. As a result, it is much more potent than morphine, but its effects do not last as long. Diamorphine or heroin is used as a recreational drug for its euphoric effects. Frequent use of heroin causes tolerance and physical dependence. Next, we look at the synthesis of codeine. Codeine is produced from morphine in a methylation reaction. In the reaction, an OH or hydroxyl group is converted into a methoxy group. Here we can see the methylation reaction of morphine to produce codeine. In the reaction, this hydroxyl group is converted into a methoxy group. This reaction makes codeine a less polar molecule than morphine and more able to cross the blood-brain barrier. However, this reaction also reduces the ability of codeine to bond at the opioid receptors, which makes codeine a weaker analgesic than morphine. 